night I died. Can't really remember much about it. I think that's how it happened. Or maybe it was the old bathtub and razor blade technique. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. It wasn't as though I'd had an unhappy childhood. It was, you know, normal. My parents divorced when I was eight. When my brother was six, he liked to dress up like a girl. <laughs> when he was 16, he used to wait until Mum and I had gone to bed and then he'd stay up late and wank off to prisoner cell block H. <laughs> works in finance now. My first snog was at 12. First fumble at 13, although Daniel Riseback told the whole school how easy I was. Went to art college. Went to therapy. That was the apple of my dad's eye. Oh, I should probably point out that I'm not an angel. Not yet. There are conditions. Dear Dad, by the time you open this, I'll be somewhere else. Somewhere happy. Excuse me. That's mine. Did your brother know you stole the keys to this place? Couldn't think of anything more original, could you? Sorry. You know, <laughs> splat, squirt, <laughs> snap, instead of... <laughs> you, oh, you thought I was going to, you know... You can't say it, can There's you? There's nothing to say. I had a penny for every time I heard that. It's okay, Jane. Let's just say that he sent me. He? Who? Colin? No, not your bastard ex. He upstairs. Mr. Stubbs, from the second floor. You're really not getting this, are you? Not Colin. Not Mr. Stubbs from upstairs. He, him, our lord, our father. As in who art in heaven? Bingo. Listen... I'm sure whatever drugs you're on are great. Dear Dad, by the time you open this, I will be somewhere else, somewhere happy. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. It's all right, Jane. He knows you're a good person. I wasn't going to, honest. And a terrible liar. <sighs> Why do they always turn on the waterworks at this point? OK, OK. I thought I was being kind. <sighs> Give me a break, Gabrielle. I wanted a quick result. After this, I've only got one left. One what? One of you. People I have to save. One thousand, to be exact. Then I get my wings. And guess what? You are number 999. I apt. Do you want to talk about it? I guess... Life doesn't always work out the way we want. <gasps> Believe me. <laughs> I just don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> OK. The Penny Approach. You are Jane Brown, the girl who got teased at school by Barry Tomlinson and Mohammed Nazir, but it was only because they fancied you. Barry still has dreams about you, but he lives in Australia now with his husband. Husband? You are Jane Brown, the girl that Vicky Brewer spread rumours about at uni. She said I had three nipples. It was only because Jez Christopher's had the hots for you and she fancied him. Jez had the hots for me? He never said. Well, life moves on. You graduated uni, was a 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. You met a nice guy called Miles. He worked for the foreign office, but his work took him to Hong Kong. That was around the time my mum got sick. I couldn't go. Couldn't. Your mum always felt terrible about that. She knew that Miles was the one. So you settled for Colin, who decides to leave you high and dry for that secretary. The stress of it affects your performance at work and you lose your job. Your mutual friends don't seem to bother much with you anymore. No more invites to dinner. You think you're getting fat and that men don't notice you anymore. You find a grey hair down below and a sinister lump on your right tit. The reality of it all just got a little too much. But the reality of the reality of it all is this. The secretary will soon get bored of Colin, but not before leaving him with a nice little case of chlamydia. I mean, for Christ's sake. Sorry. Sorry. He's a sodding pleb bottomist. That's a job title with the words pleb and bottom in it. <laughs> you can always find a better job. 
and your mutual friends were kind of boring and not really worth keeping. Some men do notice you. And grey pubic hair is just nature's way of saying that you're not 21 anymore, but hey, at least you're not ginger. <laughs> it's just a cyst on your right tit. It might interest you to know that Vicky Brewer suffers from piles these days. I am getting a little fatter, though. I'm spend like a bit of curved in. Stephen does. Who's Stephen? Right, I'll distract him. You get the envelope. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, love. I'm looking for Pembroke Road. Pembroke Road. Right. You walk up this road here, take the second road on the left, and at the end of that road, you'll come to Pembroke. Oh, you call me just in time, love. Actually, um, I, I don't need to post this out. I, I need another stamp. You live just up the street, don't you? Below Mr. Stubbs. I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, sorry, that sounds a bit stalkerish, doesn't it? <laughs> well, everybody needs a good stalker. I'm uh, Stephen, by the way. Jane. And that's the penny approach. I often wonder why my father chose that name. It's unlikely that it contributed to my tragic attempt at stand-up, or even life, for that matter. But what my father always says is... Excuse me, that's... Penny? That a penny for your thoughts... ...can be life-changing. This is Penny McCartney. Signing off. Every single moment, every single day.